Hello, Gamer Nob is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Buddha Fruit become a max level Swordmaster in Blast Fruits. But before we start, make sure you support Basic Star Code Gamer Nob when purchasing Robux. Just a disclaimer I get paid every time you use my Star Code. Now back to the video. Where the actor slam. Oh, there is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Most of the players will tell you that Buddha Fruit is the best fruit to grind in Blast Fruits. But how about a Buddha Fruit with sword? So you're gonna find out in this video, but we don't have sword yet, so we're gonna defeat some bandits first to get some yen and buy our first sword. So as you can see, it's very easy to grind. Just use your M1 again. There you go. So for our first sword, we got the katana. So we're gonna use this one for grinding in this island. So continue defeating bandits. Anyways, the Z skill, guys, it's hard to hit using Buddha form. Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And that's it. Okay, continue grinding here until you reach level 15. After that, next island is the jungle. So here, we're gonna continue using the katana. First target, the gorillas. We're skipping the monkeys. Because again, they're so far apart. And gorillas, they're easy to defeat. Because again, everyone's easy to defeat because of this Buddha fruit. Anyways, at level 20, start defeating the gorilla king. I'm gonna show you the air slash. There you go. Okay. So target here is level 30. After that, we are moving on. Next island, pirate village. Let's buy a new sword. So we have dual katana and iron mace. So we're gonna choose the dual katana first because it's cheaper. Let's equip it. There you go. Okay, so back to grinding first up, the pirates. So they're easy to defeat. There you go. As you can see, it's a whirlwind. Again, one more whirlwind. There you go. We're gonna grind here until level 40. And after that, we're gonna buy the iron mace. We are going to use this mace to grind the brutes. Check that first skill, the mace smash. It's, it's kinda good to be honest. But the X skill, the killer combo is a lot better. This one, guys, that, that one is really good for grinding. Level 55, Bobby's next. There you guys. By the way, sword can damage Bobby now, okay? X skill cannot be used when transformed, so again, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. He's dodging it, but he's being damaged. <laughs> Anyways, level 60. Okay, here are the stats. 35 mil defense, sword 113. And before we move on to next island, we will head to the frozen village and buy a new sword. This is where you can find the sword dealer of the east. He's selling two swords. Oh, the pipe and the triple katana. So we're gonna buy the triple katana first. Yep, it only costs 60,000 bellies. Let's purchase it and let's go back to grinding, okay? So our next island is the desert. So here we have two mobs. First stop is the desert bandits. Again, we're gonna use left clicks M1 for triple katana Z skill. We have the air slashes. There you go. So I, again, I'm just showing it to you. I suggest just use M1 to make things faster. Level 75, desert officers. So just continue slashing or clicking your M1. Gamer Nom, can I use an auto clicker? Yes, you can. To avoid destroying your mouse or getting tired clicking. Okay? So again, we're gonna leave this area at level 90. Next area is the frozen village. Guys, we're back here. Let's buy the pipe and the aura. That's important. But we're gonna buy everything, okay? okay so Z-Scale, Rage Combo. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Similar to the Iron Maze. But again, left clicks, guys. Just left click using your pipe. No need to use your skills. Auto clicker, left click, and that's it. 105, first boss fight. I mean, actually, this is the second, right? The Yeti. There you go, same guys. That's the same. There you go. So, we will be fighting someone here. Check that out. This dude asked us to fight 1v1. So, guys, sure. He's using gum fruit. Hello. Were you able to watch One Piece Gear 5? Comment it in the comment section. If you haven't, make sure to watch it, guys. It's really good. Anyways, we're just waiting for this enemy to use his skills. There you go. And after that, we're gonna rush him. Just left clicks again. <laughs> and oops. Wow. Left clicks. Let's let's chase him. Boom. Okay, that's it. Is there round two? Yes. He still want to fight. Round two, guys. He enabled his PvP. Oops, we got hit there. Where is he? Oh, he's hiding. Okay. Is there round 3? Yes, we finished it. So, boom. Okay, anyways guys, back to grinding. Yeti. And we're gonna grind here until level 130, right? 
Okay, so after that, here are the stats, 65 melee defense, sword, 260, next area is the marine fortress. Gamer Nom, did you buy the black cape? No, we don't have money. <laughs> so we're gonna straight, go straight and defeat the vice admiral. Keep on defeating them. There you go, we were able to get his coat. And we're gonna leave this area at 220. That's really fast. Stats, 125 mil defense. And for the sword, 410. Next up, we will head to the Skylands. What? Skylands Gamer Gnome? Is this a new grinding strat? No guys, we're just gonna buy the dual-headed sword from the Master Sword Dealer. There you go, 400,000 bellies. Next up guys, we're, where are we going? We are heading towards the prison. There it is. So we have three bosses, the Warden. As you can see guys, just use your auto-clicker. He cannot get near you. <laughs> You're gonna grind this boss until 230. And after that, you will odd the Chief Warden. So you can do wall strat on all bosses here. See it, guys? Very easy. And let's not forget the final boss, Swan. So we're gonna defeat him using wall strat too. Plus, I'm gonna show you the skills of our sword. The Twin Blade skills. The Z skill, Assassinate. There it is, and the Raging Wind, X skill, okay? Anyways, we're gonna move on until 350. Next up, Sky Islands again, and we're gonna buy the Bicento, one of the strongest sword here in the first sea. So here it is, Bicento, now going to the Magma Village and defeat Magma Admiral. So guys, technique here, use your left clicks while going around, okay? Sideways to dodge his skills, that's it. Again, left clicks while doing sideways. Or dodge to the side and that's it okay for the first skill Z skill the windbreaker here it is anyways guys server hop until you reach level 425 so after that let's do some stat check first 225 mil defense sword 825 next is the whirlpool under it is the underwater city so guys you can defeat the boss here fishman lord face to face or wall strat so it really depends to you if you're lazy do wall strat also, there is a boss drop here, a sword. Yes, we have the trident, so we're gonna equip this one. Either we will change back to Bicento, okay? So there you go, keep on grinding here. Again, guys, I prefer Bicento. <laughs> and at level 500, we will leave this area. Again, for the stats, 250 mil defense, sword, 1000. Next up, we are heading back to the desert. Why, gamer? Now, we're gonna buy an accessory that's really good for sword users. Here you go, back to Hassan. Okay, 150,000 sword hat. There it is. Now, heading to the skylands. We're gonna go to the upper sky and defeat my favorite boss, Whisper. So guys, it's stone strat again. Guys, trident sucks because M1 moves you forward, so make sure to adjust every time you do it. Go back. What skill works? The Z skill. Sadly, for the X skill, water pulse. You cannot use it while in Buddha form. Anyways, guys, we're gonna grind here until 6 to 8. And after that, we'll head back to Magma Village and buy a sword. And that sword is a soul cane for 750,000 bellies. After that, next stop, Fountain City. Okay, and we're gonna grant Galley Pirates only until you reach level 775. Why, guys? It's very easy here. Don't mind defeating the Galley Captains or Cyborg. You'll just waste time. Anyways, time to get the Saber. Again, 775, so this will be easy. Make sure to finish the quest. Open this area and defeat Saber Expert. You will get the Saber. Guys, we will be using this sword. Next up, don't forget Observation Hockey because we will be using this in the second C. Actually, not that much because we have a really good fruit here. Anyways, heading to the second C, guys. Congratulations. But we still lots of grinding to do. So first up, Swan Pirates. Again, left clicks very easy <laughs> we're gonna showcase the skills of the saber first up triple slash there you go and the deadly rush there it is okay so we're leaving this area at 925 but before that stat check first here it is 325 mil defense sword to 125 next up let's awaken the z skill obviously my brother helped me again <laughs> but we're only going to awaken the z skill advantage guys no more C damage, wider hitbox, and damage when jumping or transforming. Okay, green zone. Target is Fajita, the boss in this island. Very easy, guys. There's also a chance that you will get the gravity cane. Yes, this one's really good. Everyone knows that. <laughs> and this will also be reworked. So there you go. Let's equip this one. If you think Fajita has cool skills, check this out, guys. First up is our Z skill, the gravity push. 
There you go. Enemy will go up so we can do an aerial combo. Z skill, I mean M1. <laughs> there you go. Do server up here and our goal level is 1000. After that, moving on, next up, Snow Mountains. And target is the Snow Troopers. Nothing special here, just use M1 <laughs> to defeat your enemy. Sometimes if you're getting bored, use your Z skill to defeat them. Okay? We will be unlocking our X skill, Meteor Barrage. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Mini Fajita skill. Okay, so again, grinding here is until 1150. After that, next island is the Hot and Cold. The area where we awakened our Buddha fruit. And for our target, Smoke Admiral, the best boss to grind here. So guys, there are two ways. You can just defeat him face to face, which is easier, or do wall strat, okay? So either way, he's easy to defeat. There you go. Again, for the wall strat, here it is. See, it's effective. Don't need to move. Okay, so there's a chance that you will get the sword GTA. Smoke Admiral Sword, and yes, we will be getting it, and we will be using it. So at 1 to 50, next stop is the Cursed Ship. Yep, that is the Cursed Ship. Cursed target. Actually, the only target, Ship Deck Hands. Again, just use M1 or again, Wall Strat. I'm just showing it to you guys. <laughs> but to be honest, you don't need to do Wall Strat here. Just use your M1. Just showing it to you. There you go. And that's it. Anyways, I'm going to show you the GTA skills. For the X skill, Smoke Apparition. This is the Z skill, Smoke Barrage. And that's it, guys. Again, M1, everyone here until you reach level 1350. And after that, stat check first. There you go, melee 550, max sword defense 1050. Before that, guys, let's buy the Midnight Blade. This is the Midnight Blade. And now we're heading towards the Ice Castle to grind Arctic Warriors. Again, M1, M1, M1. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna unlock the skill of the Midnight Blade, Z skill. There you go, the portal opening. Go, so at 1400, this is the new and final mob in this island. Awakened Ice Admiral. Game room, what? There's still another island, guys. I skipped that island. That is a forgotten island, right? <laughs> Why this is faster here? I'm telling you guys, just defeat Ice Admiral. Also, I am looking for an item. I wanted him to drop that item. What item is that game wrong? Wait guys, I'm gonna show you the skills first of the Midnight Blade. Okay, so there you go. X skill is the Crescent Dash. There you go. And the Portal Opening. Okay. Anyways, for the item guys, I wanna get the Hidden Key. Do you know what is the Hidden Key? This is the Hidden Key and you are gonna use this. Open this chest. There you go. To get the Ring Goku. Okay, so gamer, now are we gonna use this ring Goku? I'm gonna show it to you. But we are gonna finish grinding in the sea using the Midnight Blade, okay? So again, guys, we're gonna skip the Forgotten Island and grind here until 1,500. There you go. And after that, let's do some stat check first, guys. Max Sword, Defense 1,420, Melee 630. Next up, guys, you need to defeat Swan, right? Finish his quest. There you go, fast forward to defeating him. There you go. After that, you need to save the prisoners. After saving the prisoners, you need to oof Indra. No, 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 just half HP. And please, Indra, make update now, okay? Please, update Black Fruits so we can enjoy now. <laughs> okay, so after that quest, you can now head to the green zone again. Look for Mr. Captain. And guys, welcome to the final P or the third C, okay? I'm to grind fast. First up, Pirate Millionaires. Guys, we're gonna use Ring Goku now. Finally, here it is. And again, M1s. Now you can also use your Observation Hockey to make things faster. There you go. We are going to skip the Pistol Billionaires and leave this area at 1,675. Okay, next up, Hydra Island. Target, Island Empress. So guys, you can use Wall Strat here. Yes, I think that's the easiest way. There you go. So guys, just keep on left-clicking this one. I suggest avoid using your skills, but guys, just to show it, here are the skills. So first up, we got the Demon Slayer and the Burning Slash. Guys, we're gonna skip every mob here, just do server hop with this boss. And after that, guys, we're gonna leave this area, again, 1,750, and we're gonna head towards the Great Tree. Target here, Kilo Admiral, there you go. 
Technique M1 <laughs> Using your sword Okay, so there are lots of bounty hunters here I don't know why this area Maybe they're trying to awaken their uh, What do you call this? Uh, V4 And then they notice that someone's grinding So let's oof them Something like that So this is an awakened uh, uh, light fruit user. So guys, what do you think? Should I awaken the light fruit and reach max level? Just comment it in the comment section. I'm thinking of cosplaying Kizaru, right? Because he just appeared in the ma- Oops, spoiler manga. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to the video. Level 1800 floating turtle. We have two mobs to defeat here. First up is fishman captains. Why? Guys, they're near each other and near the quest giver. Okay, that's my only explanation. Next up, 1875, we're gonna defeat for the first time the Captain Elephant. I, re I rarely do this, but he has something that I want, and that is the Twin Hooks. Guys, if there are lots of bounty hunters in the Great Tree in this area, <laughs> they're just, their starting point is just near you. So make sure to just focus on grinding this boss, and yeah, expect that you'll die. <laughs> Check this out guys, see that? Died recently, PvP disabled. Always disable your PvP if you have a chance. There you go guys, Twin Hooks. Anyways, we're gonna leave this area at 1,975. Oh, let me show you the stats. Max, Defense, and Sword. Remaining stats will go to melee, okay? Here's the Twin Hooks. There you go. Looks cool guys, to be honest. Okay, anyway. 1975 and that's it heading towards the hunted castle one mob here reborn skeletons why gamer nom other mobs uh, they have high damage and they're so far apart don't worry you can still gather bones here this skill is named sky cyclone here it is guys looks good to be honest anyways we're gonna continue grinding here until 2075 but if you want, you can grind the uh, uh, one here, the living skeleton, something like that. Anyways, Sea of Treats, Peanut Scouts, one of the best mobs to grind here. Because they spawn really fast compared to the other mobs in the Sea of Treats. For the excellent guys, we got the prehistoric pond. Twin Hook is kinda underrated. Anyways, after that guys, we are heading towards Big Mom, the Cake Queen. Why? Guys, again, this is rare. We don't usually do this because she has the body sword. I wanna get that body sword. So again guys, this boss is not easy to defeat. We don't have life steal, so make sure to dash to the side every time you attack her to dodge her skills, but that is not easy because we're too big. There you go guys, item drop body sword. Let's check it out. Guys, we're gonna leave this area at 2200 because there's a better place to grind. So guys, here it is, the cake land. We're gonna defeat Cookie Crafters. Cookie Crafters, they don't have long range attacks, so if your fruit is airborne, they're easy to defeat. But again, with Buddha, there's no problem for the body sword skills. We got the lightning wave, there it is, and the heat slash. Uh, this sword is also good, <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, so at 2300, next stop, guys, Chocolate Land. I suggest you can max here, Coco Warriors or any other mob, because you can get two things, level up and the conjured coco. Okay? So again, you can reach max level here. There's no big difference on the next map. But I'm going to show you the next map, okay? So next map or island is the they call this previously the North Pole, but they removed this. I don't know why. It is now part of the Sea of Treats. So guys, target candy pirates and that's it. We're going to reach max level here, 2450. I hope that they update this game really soon so that we can grind more and more new fruits and more and more new islands, okay? So again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Max Melee Defense Sword, this is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out!